Hello everybody, welcome back to our classic journey to Azeroth. I'm your host Van Fall, this little fella here is of course Bull Toen. We are on the Horde side of our journey currently. I'm just going to hand in, How may I aid? not hand in, sell up, sorry, I should say. I'm um, going to get rid of a few of these bits and bobs that we're just holding on to at the moment. Uh, like this. And in actuality, that's probably all we can sell. We want to try and get rid of these at the auction house. Okay. Now, today's episode, we're heading up towards Thunder Bluff. I'll just show you quickly. We've got the Sacred Burial, which is in Red Rocks, just to the northeast of Thunder Bluff. We also have a journey into Thunder Bluff. Fine. We also have the Hunter's Way, which is to hand in at Thunder Bluff. We've got the Wild Main Cleansing, which also just happens to be like here, Wild Main Waterwell, just to the north of Thunder Bluff. So that's the aim today. Uh, the other thing is, is that we also have this Thunder Bluff quest itself, preparation for ceremony. Uh, and these guys are northwest of Thunder Bluff. So it probably makes sense if we skirt around the outside of Thunder Bluff, head, hit Red Rocks, then the Wild Main Waterwell, circle back, get the feathers, and then head on into Thunder Bluff itself. We're going to have to eventually head back to um, Bloodhoof Village to hand in this one, Wild Main Cleansing. But for the purposes of today, we're just going to concentrate on the Thunder Bluff area. Two cougars believing that they can just uh, attack us here. There's one down and two down. There we go. I'm not going to bother looting them right now. I don't think they've got anything that I could possibly want. And I really don't want to be filling up my bags when we only have five spaces left. And ideally, I'd want to be holding on to those spaces in case we get cloth from the guys at Red Rocks. Because obviously being humanoid, they drop money, they drop cloth. Right, let's see if we can grab this. And then how many little potions can we make at the moment? Oh, okay, we can make 10 minor healing potions or seven minor defense or three lion's strength. trying to avoid unnecessarily having to get into fights here if we can help it but I just need to clear the way a little bit right, how close are we now yeah almost there almost there rock that has got little hoof marks on it. I think it's the same rock with the lion or centaur or whatever it is on one side and something else on the other. I can't remember but it's kind of cool. Right, I can't quite remember how many of these things we're going to have to kill but I think it's a fair few. I think it was eight or something. 
do that as well. Wait, no, no, no. My head. My head. My head. Uh, he's going to get it before me. Uh. Yeah, you will be sorry, Mr. Shaman. That was my herb. Okay. It's too far away. Might as well try and go for two at a time. Friend, friend. What? Oh, he called a friend, and the friend went and uh, <laughs> took it up to the shaman. That'll teach him. Anywho, what have we got? Earth root, peace bloom. Potions would come in handy. ourselves a quick bandage. but uh, nice little axe there before we finish this area I'm not trying to just nick that earth root it's just up there hopefully the shame hasn't seen it it's just up here does mean we need to take out a couple more of these guys, but never mind. Oh my gosh. This guy's got very good dodge rating. Ah. Oh. Yeah, no. My herb. Oh. Hey, no, come on. And then he just apologises. That really winds me up. Okay, I'm just going to ignore this guy now. And guys, I'm just going to pause it here quickly. And we'll pick up in just a second okay and we are back let's keep on trucking up this way try and ignore the prowler again aha but we do have some harpies and I think these are the ones that got the feathers on them might not be certainly is azure in colour. 
and they're level 10 compared to the last ones that we fought, which were around level 7, I think. I can't carry anymore. Oh, but I can't carry anymore, so that's not going to help. Alright, let's make up two heavy linen bandages. And let's also get rid of that. There we go. Right. And get rid of the cracked bill. Still not sure whether these are the right uh, harpies. Harpies residing to the north and north west. So they, I don't think, are the right ones. So we'll just keep on moving down this way. Hopefully we'll find some shortly. And then we can actually get into Thunder Bluff from this end, apparently from the northern side rather than the southern side. It's like we've got some peace bloom over here. well is just ahead of us. Get the uh, totem ready. There we go. And perhaps, why don't we make three of these? And I'll also drink that, that gives us another spot free. Okay, so we have quite a few of these guys here, so let's try and do this as sensibly as possible. Oh, okay, I've actually got four here. Let's also stun them. There's one down. First time we die, yeah, okay. So four enemies, clearly too many. Three, we might have been able to do. But 100% two we can take, no problems. And I was under the impression that the Lion's potion actually lasted through death, but apparently not. Um, all right, let's see here. Let's eat up quickly. Just try and Grab this guy, there we go. Need more rage. Nice. I'm out of range. You and you. 
we'll get on this side and hopefully we can do it from here. There we go. Nice. So that's the well cleansed as well. Aha, uh -huh. the well as well. Journey to Thunder Bluff last, and I think probably it's up in this camp up here is where we're gonna get these azure and bronze feathers from. I think that's a, a decent guess. I don't need to go into this camp here. There is actually a section up here that we've not visited as well. There's prowlers. What is on the other side of this? Desolus, apparently. So through there is Desolus. Well, I'm not entirely sure we can get through there. Right, these appear to be the same actual, in terms of the named mobs that we had a look at over there. It's the same name. If it turns out that they drop here, they probably would have dropped back over there as well. And we're going to need at least two slots to do this. So, uh, let's do that again. Maybe get rid of the mild spices, I don't need those right now. Doesn't help us. There's an azure feather. I need to get closer. Interrupt shield bash or something. It would also be nice if I could see the enemy's cast bar, but it doesn't seem to want to play ball. And all we're getting at the moment is. Ooh, that looks like a rare. Oh gosh, no, it's not rare, it's a. Um, elite. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You can come up to me if you're going to attack us. I don't want to engage that elite if we don't have to. Bronze feather, that's exactly what we need. Let's get rid of those. There we are. Trying to skirt around the edge here so I don't pull that elite. I'm out of range. Come on. I don't these things actually want to come with me. Get 
get our health back. Still no more feathers. This is going to be one of those ones where the drop rates are absolutely horrendous, I expect. Are there any more? Are there any more harpies over here? Apparently away. not. So what we'll do then is we should probably start heading back this way. I reckon they're probably going to be around here. Try and ignore the cougar if we can. And again, avoid the elite. So maybe a bit further up this way, there's some more harpy houses on this tree over here. So there probably will be some more hanging around somewhere. I think I can see one behind this tree here. I can't carry anymore. Right, heal up. And keep on trucking. There's our earth root. Cast off. The old thunderclap might actually be quite good here. Slow down the cast. We will check all of these things just to make sure we're not missing anything by not picking up, but I'm out of range. Is that one down? Another bronze feather. I've only got one of zero feather at the moment though. There we go. That's another zero feather. Feather. There's an azure. Rage. 
make good use of our hamstring, make sure that they can't run away if they do try. Bronze now we just need to work on those sorceresses. Right, two more azure. that one and one more. Fingers crossed we get it on this one. Nice. Okay, now we can head into Thunder Bluff. I'm going to try and ignore some of these guys if I can and just get to the elevator. If this is even an entrance that we can get into, I'm not entirely sure to be fair, but I'm going on the, the assumption that it is, it looks like it could be. There is some silver leaf around here somewhere, there it is. I'm out of range. Are we going to pull the beast? Yes, it's annoying. Oh well, that will actually, I think, ding us up to level 12. Okay, let's head straight up this way. Got to turn in one, two, three, four in Thunder Bluff, and finally we can then use our Hearthstone to head back to Blood Hoof and hand in there. Get ourselves some herbs before we do. Inventory. Oh, hold up. Yeah, normally I wouldn't sacrifice something like that, but considering the fact that we still need these for our profession, I may also just quickly turn these into bandages. Actually, we could do that in a second. Let's just grab this. I can't carry. Oh, you're joking. What don't I particularly need at the moment? One piece bloom. There, go on then. Right. Both of them just went up, that's annoying. This one will come down first. And whilst we're up there, we might even be able to get a new uh, potion or two. Nice to be able to make some other stuff. 
and we've got to try and work out where these um, hand-ins are as well. So this is where we picked up herbalism and alchemy previously. Please, we can get genuine herbalism, so we may as well do that. How may I aid you? And also may as well get ourselves a max stack again. We do that, and then I can sell that. And then sell this stuff. I'm going to take a look at the auction house as well. Right, can I make any more alchemy sorts of things? Let's have a look. Well met. Weak Troll's Blood Potion, which is a health regen for an hour. That's nice. And a mana potion. Okay, let's take both of those. That Troll's Blood would actually be quite nice, I think. Actually, let's make three of those now. Mage Royal for the Minor Mana Potion, which we haven't started seeing yet. Uh, Lion's Strength requires one. Minor Defense, that's two. Uh, do you know what? Let's let's just create these. Let's create a two stack of the Defense Potions. that as well. That gets us 40 in alchemy. Hopefully we'll be able to actually make something else perhaps. Let's have a look. What brings you here? Minor regen potion or rejuvenation. So this is mana and health with Mage Royal. Okay. map seems to be a little bit pixelated if it if you ask me but anyway um right i've got a feeling that the quest hand-ins are going to be on one of these other rises maybe spirit rise which i actually have to head into this building in order to come back on the other side As I say, I've actually got absolutely no idea when it comes to Mulgore where everything is. Or Thunder Bluff, rather. Right, let's try over here. We've got Scuffles, the level 22 Orc Warrior in front of us. <laughs> right, who's over on Spirit Rise, I wonder? Shaman, first aid. What brings you here? Oh, we may as well take journeyman. Ancestors. Go. I mean, our money is just disappearing right now. Not that we have an awful lot anyway. Um, okay, so there's apparently... Oh, it's Silverleaf, not Quest Hand in. All right, let's head back across this bridge here. Hi. Say hello to Mr. Scuffles. Quest hand in over here. Uh, I've been so thank you for your help, Paul Toen. My part in my brother's ceremony is almost complete. 
giving him his headdress and witnessing the ceremony are all my duties require of me. We're going to go with the tribal shield. Ooh. Ooh. And we leveled up. Take another point there. Nice new shield. Let's Looking also... Okay, 25 silver is a, a way off us being able to buy, but let's at least get one six slot pouch. Be at your back. Got that down there. Greetings. Um, I'm just going to sell one stack of that, one stack of that, like that. The shield that we don't need, that single linen cloth, the single silver leaf, the single earth root, just to save us up a mm. tiny bit of space. And then where is that auction house at? That's the Thunder Bluff Bank. I did think there was an auction house up here somewhere. How may I aid you? Oh, and there is. It's actually just here. Okay, what have we got to get rid of? Let's get rid of this lion fur armor. Let's see if this is worth anything. Probably not. Ah, okay. Well, let's go 24 hours, let's go 15 silver and 25 silver. And similar on this one as well, 15 and 25, there we go. Probably won't be bought. We've also got this axe. So let's do this one Ooh, at, let's go 40 silver and 65 silver. And then that actually gives us a bit more room there. Okay, so that's nice. Hopefully some of that will sell. If it doesn't, we'll just sell it straight to vendor. Excuse me. Right, let's try heading up this way. <coughs> right, so this is the first area we came back to because we have the herbalist just over here and I'm still none the wiser as to where we should be going so let's try this way though I do have no that's Thunder Bluff auction house again yeah let's try over here the Elder Rise decent views from up here though And I do also, apparently, it's tagging Thunderbluff <laughs> for some reason on the map. Come on, there's got to be a quest around here somewhere. There is a quest, but it's not Hail. one we have. Testing an enemy's strength. Beneath the city of Ogrimmar, stout creatures known as Trogs started coming to the surface from deep below the lava-filled tunnels. In her ever-benevolence, Margatha sought to make peace with the creatures, but they turned on her diplomats, killing them. She will not allow such treatment of the torn people and now considers the th creatures a threat to all of the Horde. She has asked that you put an end to this Trog threat before it overwhelms the Horde from below. Find Ragefire Chasm and destroy them all. This is a dungeon yeah, quest. Well. And searching for Lost Satchel. I think this is also going to be a dungeon quest. The Trogs are not the only thing that interested in Magatha in Ridge Fire Chasm. She has heard word that one of her servants, a more grim totem, found something peculiar while in the chasm, but he never made it out to show her what. She'd like Moore's body found if it still exists, and any signs of what he found while attempting to speak to the Trogs. Return to Magar Magatha any items of interest and I'm sure she would be very generous in her reward. Again, seek out the chasm in the darkest areas of Ogrimmar. So yeah, that's our first actual dungeon quest uh, and I expect they're going to be red. Oh, they're actually orange. I think Ragefire is from around level 14-ish. Um, we also have Archdruid Hamul Rune Totem. Hey. The Druids of Thunderbluff sense a strange power leaking into the barrens east of Mulgore. Tonga Rune Totem was sent to discover the source of his power, but we fear 
he will need aid. Travel to the Baron, speak with the Tonga. He will be at the crossroads. To reach there, take the road east out of Bloodhoof Village, enter the Barrens, then turn north when the road forks. Continue north and you will find crossroads. Do not leave the road, will turn, for the Barrens is a harsh Be land. Careful. Okay. So quite a few quests to actually leave this area and head into the Barrens. Still not found the other quest hand-ins so the only other place we haven't looked so far is the hunter rise over this way and this section here in terms of size this is definitely a lot smaller than say Ogrimmar or Undercity or any of the other cities actually but it's just mazy like it's very weird right we have a hand in here ah here's Ken I am Cairn, Chief of the Blood. Hail, young warrior. I see you found your way to my doorstep. You have passed the rights of the Earth Mother and earned your place in Thunderbluff, but in order to maintain the spot that you have strived so hard to achieve, you must continue to prove your worth to your people. We are hunters, Bulturn. Down below in Mogor, there is a mighty Kodo named Arachia. Show me your skills in the ways of tracking and hunting by bringing me the Horn of Arachia. And, yeah. Okay. That's fine. I will try and find myself a uh, Kodo by the name of Arachia. Although unlikely, to be fair, if it's a roaming monster, it may take us quite some time to find. And as I thought, this is where the other quest hand in is so let's go and do that now and we're going to call it here for today so scorn white cloud is a wise tauren he has hunted for years and years and although his body is old his spirit burns fiercely we are honored to have him with us if scorn sent you to me then you too must have the hunter spirit and to have gathered these claws shows your burgeoning skills perhaps you are ready to walk the path oh another one is it if you wish to walk the hunter's path then your journey leads to the barons its beasts are strong willed and fierce you will learn much by hunting there and your spirit will grow speak with sergra darkthorn she will be your first guide in the barons sergra is at the crossroads to reach her travel east from bloodhoof village into the barons north as the road forks and have care as you travel the barons hold great dangers from the unprepared and unwary and there's another quest Believe it or not, there's quite a few quests. Ah, this might be a PvP one though. Speak, friend. Yeah, awesome gotcha. Okay, we'll ignore that for the time being. But let's head back to Bloodhoof, where we have the other quest to hand in. Oh wait. Oh, that was just outside of the thing. Actually, we'll call it here. Guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this one. If you have, please do all those lovely social media things. Please like, comment, share, subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you next time for more in our classic journey through Azeroth as we wrap up Mulgor and start heading into the Barrens. But until then, take care. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now.